In Affinity Photo 2.2, there's a new great feature connected to the Move tool where you can create circular designs such as this or all number of different duplicated designs. How to do this? Just go over here and create a shape. I'm just going to go with maybe Triangle Tool, but you could use any of the others. Create that and you can fill it with anything, gradients, anything. Then go up here and make certain the Enable Transform Origin is set on. Really useful. Now you can use the tool with the Move tool without it, but it makes it even nicer because you've got this little crosshair, which is the origin point for that shape. So you can just drag this up and you can position it there instead of obviously where it was before. Then press Return. And the key thing is you need the Move tool to be active. So go there to the Move tool, Press return, and now you will see this new panel, move slash duplicate. And you can do a lot with this. I will be going through many of the features later in another video. But one of the things, you can go down here to rotation, and you can enter 10. And that will rotate that design by 10 degrees based on this, this little point here, the crosshair. Also, you can set duplicate. At this moment, obviously, it's just got one, but I'm going to put it to 35. So you get all the way around, create a circle design. You could put it 36, but that will just be on top of the first one. Then just click OK. And there it is very quickly. Now you can do it with any shape and any design. So I'm just going to remove this. And let's just create maybe pen tool and create a very basic design, something like this. But you could, of course, create even more complex designs than this. Once you've done that, you can fill it with something. So let's just go fill. And I'm going to fill it with a solid color this time. Also, of course, with the Move tool, you can transform it and you can distort it and click effects, maybe add an outer shadow. Click close. Well, now you can do exactly the same as before. Again, make certain the Move tool is selected. Enable Transform Origin is on. And with that, you can reposition that. So just position it there, just on top. And you can position it anywhere. It doesn't have to be there. Press Return. And you can do exactly the same value as before. You don't have to. You might decide, you know what? Let's just go for five. And then duplicate. And you can then increase this. So as you see, as you do that, so you go all the way around. Now you don't have to go all the way around. Maybe you might decide you want a semicircle of this design. Something like that. But you can also enter, say, 69 or 83 or whatever you want. And you can create all kinds of unique designs using this approach. And then click OK. You can, of course, also move it, transform it in other ways. But I'll go through that in another video. If you want to, you can also group them all together. So I've got this design, diamond this time, diamond shape. Again, I can move that, make sure the move tool is selected and press turn. I'm not going to go with 10 and I'm going to enter 35 here for number of copies. So number five, 35, press turn. I can now select all of these. So make sure. unfortunately it doesn't group it automatically. It'd be nice if it did, but it doesn't. With them all grouped, you can then go to layer and you can go down here and geometry and add. So make sure you do that, and they're all added into a single shape. So you've got the curves there, and then you can manipulate it further, maybe using the No tool. So go over to No tool and tweak the design in that way. You can also combine this with effects. So just go here again. I'm just going to use Triangle tool. You could use any shape. So with this, I've got just a green one there. Again, Move tool, reposition that. Well, once you've got it there, you can go over here and layer, new live filter layer, and distort, and maybe go with twirl. So twirl, and I'm just going to distort it just slightly. So distort design, and you can, of course, modify the position like that. And once you've done that, you've got this design here, gain move tool, with that selected, and again, you've got that position there, that origin, press return, and this time I'm going to enter, oh, Exactly the same. Doesn't particularly matter. 10 could be a 5, it could be 20, 30, whatever. Number of duplicates. So I'm just going to select there. And again, 35. 
and you can see then it's applied all the way around click OK and that the effect is duplicated each and every time and they're all independent as well so you could just go to the twirl and tweak one of the designs maybe alternating the design if you've got any questions please let me know in the comments below also a like or dislike always appreciated please subscribe always adding new tutorials about affinity photo as well as others if you've got any questions please put in the comments below bye